Kelsey here, back to talk about more kidney stuff. Are you surprised? Probably not. <laughs> uh, today I wanted to talk about peritoneal dialysis, or as us kidney folk call it, PD. That is dialysis of the peritoneal cavity slash membrane. So we all have a peritoneal cavity in our abdomen and um, Essentially what happens with this dialysis is you put in a dialysate mixed with a sugar and it's called dextrose and it goes in and I personally, everyone's different, every kidney patient is different. I do two liters at a time. So two liters goes in, fills my membrane up and it stretches that um, membrane wall. And as it stretches, it thins. And when it thins out, waste product comes through. That waste product sticks to the sugar and cleans my body. So, oh, and it also pulls fluid out, which is crucial. Both play an important role. Um, I actually don't pee anymore. I haven't peed in, I don't know, maybe maybe two months now going on. So it is very crucial that my dialysis pulls fluid off of me because otherwise I would be 500 pounds. I gain roughly anywhere from one to two, sometimes even three kilos in a day, um, depending on my salt intake and my fluid intake. Um, to put that into pounds, that's 2.2 pounds, or let's see, 2.2 kilos to a pound, so that's two, four, anywhere from like two to six to seven, two to seven pounds a day, which is nuts. That is nuts. So my dialysis pulls that fluid off so I retain a dry weight is what we call it, which is what all of you guys are, is your dry weight. I have my dry weight. Um, that I try to get down to after dialysis every day. After the waste has attached to the sugar, um, it kind of dwells in my body and that just works for about an hour and 45 minutes, give or take a minute here and there, depends, dwell, time, dwell times kind of vary. Um, but it dwells in my abdomen and it cleans my body for me all through the night. So I'm having dialysis done for about nine and a half hours every night versus everyone else with normal kidney function who's having dialysis done 24 seven. So it's kind of nuts. And um, I'm just very grateful and very blessed. I did hemodialysis, which is blood dialysis, where they clean the blood because Clearly, obviously the kidneys can't clean the blood anymore when they're failed. Um, so I did that for three months and I just actually got that catheter removed. It was right here. I had that taken out two weeks ago today. Today, yeah, kind of crazy. And I've had my um, PD catheter in for Jeez, a month, month and a half now. Um, and I'm so glad I did it. I that was probably one of the best decisions I've made through this journey was to go ahead with the PD. Um, I have quality of life. I live a normal life. I get to go do what I want when I want. Take care of my kids. Take care of my husband. Um, you know, be a mother and a wife and a sister and a daughter and, you know, trying to just do babysitting for three hours, well, excuse me, five hours, three times a week and being away from your kids from that often, it's really hard. And so this is just such a better option for me as a mother and I'm so grateful for that. Um, I want to show you guys how I do my PD and how it works and what goes into it and all the freaking
some stuff because there's a lot of it. Um, if I were you, that'd probably be the video I'd be most interested in and be really sick and tired of just watching me talk, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and also good news, I just got a call from the hospital and I'm starting my testing. I start Friday for my testing for my transplant and I am so excited. Um, I was in the emergency room last Tuesday, so they actually, in the emergency room, did one, two, three of the seven tests that I have to do. So technically I only have three to do because one of them's a urine test and I can't provide in the urine. So I have three to do and then we're on till testing live donors and I'm so excited. So, um, hopefully I can get my sister to come with me and kind of document it so you guys can see what goes into the whole process. And I'm excited to take you guys on this journey with me to transplant. Yes! By the way, you're probably like, what the crap is all over her hands? Well, I was post alone for Halloween on Saturday. I killed it. I killed it. I'll put it in the picture because your girl pulls off being a man too well. Anyway, we'll leave on that note. You guys have a great, great week. And I will see you soon.